I'm gonna stop by the post office. Made it right on time. I'm drop off. I'm here to drop off this package. Okay. So today we transformed the boys' bedroom into a post office, and here's how I did it. I used an old Amazon box. I wrapped it with packing paper and I painted it blue. You can paint it any color you want. I also added this slit here so we can put in the mail. Um, and yeah, uh, this. These little blue baskets I got from Dollar Tree. They came in a set of two for a dollar. And I just added things that you would normally see at a post office. So I have postcards, envelopes, stamps, and tape. Now I didn't want to waste my stamps. So for stamps we are using stickers. I have an, uh, an ink pad in there. I have some post-its. And I'm also using these uh, dabber dot marker things. Um, so they can go ahead and use those to use the stamps. I have postal receipts and tracking cards. These I just made up on my own using the Word document. And then I have this little thing here with pens and their name tags. For their name tags, I just printed out their name. I added the little US Postal Service picture on there using the online images and glued on this little pin, pin <laughs> thing on the back. And uh, here you can add scissors and all of that, but my kids, I cannot uh, trust them with scissors yet on their own. So then the little banner up there that says post office, I just uh, made it using uh, post letter, uh, poster board letters, cut out, pre-cut out letters from Dollar Tree and construction paper and cut out the little um flag looking things and hung it up with yarn now like i said for older like you can totally make this your own whatever your kids are ready for um for us it's just really just about play um diego's speech is not where it should be so we're just trying to use as much talking during play as possible and then um, for david i mean you can totally incorporate math in here um, i have the price list up there so i have these postal receipts so how many envelopes did i am i buying how much are they so what's the total of that what's the total for stamps and then what's the total for everything so if your kids are older you can totally focus more on the math on the money um like i said for us it was more of just play just talking although they are learning um i wouldn't i wasn't focusing so much on the math or the money it was just kind of pretend play so if you do have any questions go ahead and let me know in the comments or over on instagram this was so much fun putting together and the boys really did have a blast so I did sit and play with them for a little while, you know, so they can uh, kind of have an example of how to use what I have provided for them. Um, and they get an idea of what to do, how to do it, and kind of, you know, the gist of the game. So um, I sat down, I, you know, had a package to be delivered i wanted to purchase a postcard and then mail it so um i kind of gave them that example and then after playing with them for a little while i just let them go crazy and uh yeah so it was so much fun i hope you guys really do give it a try